Hey guys, welcome aboard. My name is the Beast Billy, and today we're going to be taking a look at how to set up a program called Streamer.bot to respond to your viewers on Twitch. A couple things to mention before we begin here. First off, since this is going to be using the API version of ChatGPT, it will not be free. However, it's also fairly cheap if you set it up correctly. You can see here on this site, it will list out the actual cost of it. Right now, it is a fraction of a penny per 1,000 tokens. 1,000 tokens is equivalent to about 750 words. And you can see per this paragraph here, this is actually about 35 tokens. It's actually really low cost. Me personally, over the past three days or so, I've used about two cents. It costs me about two cents. You can set up budgets so you don't go over it. Um, to make sure that you're not overspending on things and just overall it's fairly cheap for small channels you probably won't have to worry about it and I find the engagement with the viewers is quite hysterical at times and well worth it other things to mention I'm not too worried if you subscribe or like the video however I would highly request that you go take a look over at Wraith Spheres Twitch channel uh, all their information will be below in the description as they are the one who actually mainly helmed the creation of this coding and they deserve all the credit for it. Um, so go make sure to show them some love and without further ado, uh, let's take a look at it and I'll show you how to do it. All right, the first step we're going to take a look at is actually setting up the OpenAI account so you can go ahead and get an API key. It'll be the first link in the description. We're going to go ahead and click in the top right corner here and you're going to want to click on view API keys. From here, you're going to go ahead and click on Create New Key, and you're going to want to copy this key. It is very important to set the somewhere safe off to the side so you don't lose it, uh, because after you close out of this page, you will not be able to copy it again without making a brand new one, which you can then delete the old version, but it's just extra work. Now that we have our API keys, we're going to need the brains behind the operations. So the next thing we're going to want is going to be the second link in the description. It's going to open up the streamer.bot website. From here, you can go ahead and click on the download button, and then we're going to drag that onto our desktop. I recommend creating a separate folder and extracting that zip file onto it. Once you have that secondary folder and you've extracted everything into it, the next thing you're going to do is go ahead and open it. You're going to see a bunch of options. We're going to scroll down until we see the application option for streamer.bot. Dot exe. We'll go ahead and click on that and launch it. Once you have that launched, you should see something that looks a little bit like this. You're going to want to go ahead and go over to Platforms, Twitch. If you have YouTube, you can do YouTube, but I, I don't know much about that, so you'll have to figure that out. But for Twitch, we'll go here, and we'll go down to Accounts, and then you can go ahead and set up your Broadcaster account, and then also set up your Bot account. I've already got both of mine set up. You don't have to do the bot account if you don't want to, but I do recommend it. I think it's just great that the bot can talk for its own. Anyways, from there, we're going to go ahead and click in the very top left corner on import. It's going to give us the option to import a string, just a really long set of text. It just helps you skip from having to actually code everything. All the text is going to be in the third link in the description. You'll go to the Pastebin website and click copy. Bring it back over to the streamer.bot app and paste it in. Once you've got it pasted in here, you're going to see down here you have the action and then also the command. Pretty much both of these go together to create the actual final product. So we'll go ahead and click import. It's going to give you a little pop-up letting you know that your command is disabled. You can go ahead and click OK and go past this. We'll come back to this in a moment. Now that we've actually uploaded the action and the command, we can go over here to actions in the top left. We're going to click on our action that's now in here, and we're going to see a couple different options. One of them is going to be here where we can put the API key in. We'll go ahead and highlight all that, erase it. I'm going to put 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, but this is where you would actually put your API key. I'm going to come here off camera and fix this after we switch to the next page. The next one you're going to see here is the behaviors. This lets your bot know how to respond to people, a way to act. Like you'll see up there, it says that they are an angry AI dog who hates everything. So you're going to want to come up with a behavior that matches your channel, your theme. Me personally, I like to tell mine to be sarcastic and funny. So here in a second, we're going to go ahead and click on it, and we're going to edit that. Uh, I already have it copy pasted, so we're going to go ahead and paste it in. And we're going to go with act as an assistant to the Twitch streamer, the Beast Billy. You are a sarcastic and funny bot. All right, 
the next one we're going to see is temperature that one's not too crazy of one to change the higher the temperature the more creative it is the lower the more factual based it is the next one after that though is going to be the model uh, you're going to have the chat gpt uh, 3.5 turbo and then also the chat gpt 4 if you have access to that since we don't have access to chat gpt 4 and it's more expensive we're just going to go ahead and erase the outside of those and just do the chat gpt 3.5 and that's going to complete that. Last thing to touch on with this one as well is you will see in the very bottom there's also a speaker.bot text to speech. I personally never use that. If you want to look into it, you can set it up to automatically read the messages out, but I'm not going to go over that in this. So we're just going to go ahead and delete those and get rid of those. You also see that the actual Twitch message is here. It will go ahead and display it. It's actually going to say the name of the user who requested it and then the reply after. So you'll see in this case, the creator who made this, Wraith, and then it'll have a dash and then the reply. From here though, we need to go ahead and go to commands. Then we're gonna go ahead and double click on our command, the one that was uploaded with our import. From here, you can go ahead and change it to whichever command you want. So this one would be exclamation mark chat GPT if it's set at the beginning of the message. So exclamation mark chat GPT plus whatever message the viewer puts. Me personally, I like to have it with my bot's name. So I put at assassino underscore bot and then I change it to anywhere over there. So that way, if anybody mentions my bot at all in the message, it will respond automatically. The next thing you want to do is click here on enabled to make sure that the actual command is enabled again. From there, you'll also need to choose the actual action. I already had it selected, but you would just choose the action that you have here for ChatGPT. So that way, when the person requests this command or does this command, it automatically sends it over to ChatGPT and gets your response. You can also set a global cooldown to make sure it can only be used every certain amount of time. And me personally, I like to set a really high number for the user cooldown so it can be used like once a day per user and you can also set it up over in the right corner there you can have it set up with moderators subscribers vips different things like that you can kind of mess around with the settings here but once you have all that figured out you can go ahead and exit out of there and we're going to see here we have our command fully set up so that means we have the actual command at the front so for me it's at assassino underscore bot at any point during the message with the action chat gpt with no cooldowns right this moment and we have it enabled from here, we can go ahead, we'll drag this over to the side, and we'll go ahead and pull up an example. You can use whatever you want for the example. Since mine is at assassino underscore bot, I have to make sure to include that in my message. So for me, I'm going to go ahead and just put hey at assassino underscore bot. How are you doing today? And we'll go ahead and just send it just like that and we'll wait just a couple seconds we'll do it live it shouldn't take too much longer and we will get a response from assassino bot and there it is and that really didn't take too much long and we got a pretty good response from it all right last thing i'm going to go over um and this is more just extra information everything you've seen before this is really all i had to go over you could just stop right here and you're good to go but there was a couple other extra tidbits I want to show you guys on how you can implement this in other ways. Uh, one of them being how you can set it up where it just randomly responds to like 1% of the messages said in chat. There's a 1% chance that it just responds. Uh, another you could set it up with channel point redemptions. If you don't want to have it used as much to spend less on it, you can have it as a channel point redemption so they have to work for it to redeem it. So the way we're going to do those, we'll go ahead and start off over here. We're going to go ahead and click on actions in the top left corner and i've already set up a new action here called random number it's just a couple easy simple actions they're under core you can go to get random number that's one of them i set it from zero to a hundred and then i have it just make a variable called random number with a capital n a lowercase r another or one as well we go in here go ahead and do an if else and then you pretty much just put the variable in here. So the variable was random number with a capital N. The R has to be lowercase. And then I have it set to equal one or whatever number I want it to be. So you can also set this up if you want to as an equal to or less than. So like if we put it as less than three, you'll see that you can actually 
since it's less than 3, it's if the number is 1 or the number 2, because 3 doesn't count. So it's a 2% chance that it happens. So you can up the odds as you want to, to better fit the rates you want. We'll leave it at 1 though, so it's a 1% chance. And then we'll delete the duplicates we have here. Make sure you set the action on the if statement, so it says if it equals 1, it does that action. You don't have to fill out the other one, because it doesn't matter. We can go ahead and click OK now that we've got that all filled out. It's going to bring us back to this page. We're going to go ahead and delete this extra if statement since we don't need two of them. We only need one to give us that random number. Now that we actually have that action set up, we're going to actually need to implement it into something. So as before, we actually just had it as a command. We could just do, you know, add a Sassino bot. Now we need it to happen after something else happens. So in this case, we want it to happen whenever there's a chat message. So we're going to go over here to the platforms, events, and we're going to click on chat message, and we're going to choose that random number action. So whenever somebody sends a chat message in chat, it's going to roll a dice out of 100, and if it happens to hit that number one, it's going to automatically respond with the bot. All right, now coming back over here to platforms, and then heading over to channel point redemptions, in here, if you don't have one set up, you can go ahead and right click and create a new one. As you can see, I have a bunch set up for my normal account. Um, this is a separate instance, but it still transfers over since it's under my account. You'll go ahead and set it up as you want. I have one here already. It's AI Takeover, so I'm going to click on it. You'll see what you can edit. The most important thing with these ones, if you're doing it for ChatGPT, is that you have it set up where a user response is required. Uh, make sure you set your title, the cost, the prompt, the color if you want it, a maximum if you want per stream, a cooldown if you want. And then the next thing we need to set up is down at the bottom. We want to go ahead and click on Actions. And once we click on there, we're going to want to choose our Chat GPT action because we have to call it to have it go to Chat GPT and bring back a response. It runs the same as all the other options as well, so if they say a message in chat and it responded, it run the same except for with the redemption. Makes them work a little bit more for it since it does cost a little bit of money. Anyways guys, that covers everything that I had to go over today for you. Um, if you have any specific questions about how you might be able to run a certain type of program or a certain type of action, I've got a little bit of experience with it. I'm not the best with it, but hey, put a message in the chat. Worst I could say is I can't help you but I'll probably give it a shot. Um, once again, go give a huge shout out. Go follow, subscribe to Wraith Sphere on Twitch. They are the ones who put all the work into this to make sure you didn't have to, so make sure to go show them some love, and have a great day.